Hello, hello. Happy Friday, everyone. This is Jennifer Sinceri, and I am a Stamping Up Independent Demonstrator. And this is my Fun Friday Facebook Live class. I come on Facebook every Friday night, Lord willing, and bring you a free paper crafting class. I'm usually on Tuesdays and Fridays at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And tonight, it's all about Paper Pumpkin. Now, even if you do not subscribe to Paper Pumpkin, that's okay. You are going to see some great card ideas um, using different uh, Stamping Up products. So don't worry, if you do not subscribe, I'm sure you're going to enjoy the evening. If you do subscribe, hopefully you are going to get some great ideas on what to do with your supplies after you use up all the consumables. I like to show you how you can use your stamp set after everything's been used up. And then for those of you that don't subscribe to Paper Pumpkin after tonight, you might consider it. You might see how much fun these little boxes in the mail really are. All right, so I see Shelly's here and Pamela's here. Thank you, ladies, for commenting. I appreciate it. How are you guys doing? I hope you are ready for your weekend and excited. Let's see. It is going to be a busy, busy weekend for us. The kids have lots of festivities planned. Alrighty. I'm just grabbing, grabbing my catalog, which seems to be hiding. Oh, well. Oh, well. Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay. All right. Cause I like to show you what I'm using. So you know what it is and can find it in case you want to use it yourself. All right. So this is the peaceful Christmas paper pumpkin. It was the October kit and it is sold out. Sadly, it is sold out. So you have to place your order every month on the 10th to get that month's kit. And then um, it ships out. And then after they ship, they will post. If there's any extras, they will post those. Plus, they do refills. They can't always guarantee. And I think it was posted, gosh, hmm, maybe one day and within hours, it was already sold out. And I remember telling you this was going to be one of our most popular kits. Yes, indeed. I ordered myself two kits. And so I've already opened this one and I've got everything prepped for you uh, so I can assemble cards quickly. But I want to show you what it looks like before. Okay. For those of you that don't know. And by the way, I'm going to save these boxes. I am going to put some type of cardstock here with some stamping, a big bow and ribbon. And wouldn't that make a beautiful gift box? Don't throw those special boxes away because... They make great gift boxes. I also like to use them for storage. So I use them. I hold my um, ink spots in, in them. Okay. So with every paper pumpkin kit, you guys get an exclusive stamp set. This is a great way to build up your stamp repertoire. All right. That's a fancy word. Um, it is so economical. Really, the, the price is phenomenal for what you're getting. So you get an exclusive stamp set, you get ink, and then you get all the consumables. So this is telling you that this kit coordinates with these products that are in our catalog. All right, so that you can use these products to extend the life of your kit after you've used up everything. All right, they always wrap it up in really pretty tissue. And if you're careful, you can reuse that tissue. Okay. All right. 
Hi, Stacy. Welcome home. Stacy just got back from Hawaii. I'm so jealous. So jealous, but I'm so happy for her. She got to see sea turtles. Okay, so I'm opening up my second kit. So I'll probably be giving away my stamp set, my second stamp set to somebody because I don't need two. But I buy two so that I can guarantee, <clears throat> excuse me, that I am always going to have what I want. Because like I said, I went to go buy refills and bam, they were gone. I think, like I said, it was sold out within a couple hours. All right, so you're always going to get adhesives. You get some stamping dimensionals. You've got baker's twine. They usually come with some type of really fun coordinated envelopes. And so we've got the silver foiling on a shaded spruce envelope. And then on the inside, it's got a buffalo check. All right, isn't that cute? Hi, Sharon. And I believe this kit makes, let's see, I can't remember. One, two, four, six, eight, ten cards. Ten cards. It's $22 plus tax. That $22 includes the shipping price. Then we've got some embellishments, and these look like um, glittery silver embellishments. Those are very pretty. You've got some foil Noels. And then we have base card, uh, card bases, base cards, card bases. Hi, Linda. And then we've got some die cuts to punch out for sentiments. Some more die cuts. These are little banners. We've got some more card bases. And what I was going to show you this looks just like this designer series paper. So look at that. Exactly. So you're getting five of those. You could order one of these packs of designer series paper, peaceful place, 12 by 12. And then there's other designs in here with it. And you could do more things with your kit. All right. Then we've got a few more die cuts, a buffalo check panel, circles, rectangles that look like wood grain, and then there are vellum trees that you can punch out. So you get all of this. I always, oh, and then we have our directions. And the directions have improved, okay? They're actually way better than they used to be. And then on the back, they give you a couple alternative ideas. I don't even throw this away. I use this chipboard for other projects. I keep it and because uh, it's free and you could use that for other projects. So I even, I even keep the chipboard. I know, crazy. Crazy, crazy. All right, so I'm going to set aside this kit that I just opened because I don't need to dive into it yet. But I wanted you to see everything that $22 plus tax buys you. All right. A amazing, amazing deal. Very economical. Okay. A couple of things. I am going to do one of each of the designs as is to show you. And then I've got mm, about five alternatives, I think. One of the things that I've used tonight in the annual catalog on page 155, I pulled the wintry 3D embossing folders. You get two. One is snowflakes and then one is pine boughs. So I've pulled those and I'm using that. I did use some of that peaceful place DSP and I've pulled some cardstock. I've got white, black, real red, evening evergreen, and I think some shaded spruce. All right. So you know what? Let me show you. If you don't have all the cardstock, um, like I do, I, I keep, I try and keep at least two to three reams of every color of cardstock because I run classes and whatnot. 
But if you can't do that, there are, I thought there were, let me try and find it. I thought there were some packs of mixed colors of cardstock. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I just can't find them. I think we have a variety pack. I just don't see it. Should have marked it. Oh, here, assortments and bundles. So on page 126, you can get 20 sheets. You get two each of 10 colors. So you get 10 colors, two pieces of each color for $9. So we get the brights, the neutrals, the regals, and the subtles. You can also get the in colors. So that's a nice way that's a little bit more economical. So you can get a variety of colors. Because a pack of cardstock, you get mm, 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 how many? You get 24 sheets for $8.75. So you know, if you wanted four colors, that's 40 something bucks. But you could do these assorted um, cardstock packs for nine dollars. No, you don't get a lot. I mean, but if you even if you bought two. That's $18. Uh, you're going to get 40 sheets of paper. So just throwing that out there. All righty. Let's see. You guys are talking about Hawaii, looks like. <laughs> I'm looking up my comments, going, What are they talking about? All right, so there are two designs. I'm going to make one of each, and then I'm going to do my alternative designs, okay? All right, so we're going to need one shaded spruce card base. We're going to need one of those buffalo check panels. We need a vellum tree. We need the red banner. We need the wood grain banner, and we need... A Noel. So what I've done is I've just punched everything out. I've got it in little piles here. And then it makes it so much faster when I start assembling cards. Okay. I, I just feel like that's way better than me punching what I need for one card, putting it together, then punching what I need for another card and so on and so on. All right. So let's put this card together. I love Paper Pumpkin because of the price point, but I also love it because it takes the thinking out of crafting for me. There are times when I don't want to have to think about what I'm going to design, um, and I just want to play. And so they've done the designing for me, and let me see, did they pop this with dimensionals? Let's look. It looks like it. Mm-hmm. I think they did. So we're going to do that. So like I was saying, it takes the thinking out of it. I can just play. I can relax. I can sit and watch a Hallmark movie, put some music on, and play. And I've got everything I need. It makes it wonderful for travel. I've taken my paper pumpkin with me to a hotel. I've taken it with me on camping trips. I've taken it on church retreats um, when I have downtime. I've taken it on family trips. I've taken it when my kids went to birthday parties and I had to sit and watch them jump in a... Um, in a, what are they called, inflatable thing at a, a park, and I just sat there, so I worked on my paper pumpkin. <laughs> um, so they are great. Oh, I made a boo-boo already. See, I was talking, daggummit, talking. All right, I was supposed to stamp, I was supposed to stamp the trees, because I see that there's some trees in the background. We'll see what we can do. Don't do what I do. Learn from my boo-boos. 
All right. In your first kit that you purchase when you subscribe, you get a block. Now the blocks are a little bit different than this one. These are the ones that we sell and they have the grooves on them. Um, the ones that they sell are a little different. They've actually gotten better than they were. They used to be thinner and they're actually a little bit thicker now. Um, but you do get a block with your first subscription. Okay, let's see. Is she going to be able to do it? Let's see. I kind of want to see where these vellum trees are going to be because these are supposed to be behind them. So we're going to do it about there. You see how I did that? Oh, shoo! All right. So now I've got trees behind my vellum trees. Now, vellum is kind of funny. Your adhesive tends to show. Now, they gave you tiny little glue dots in here. Um, these are great. I use these for bows, but I don't have the patience to use a bunch of those. So I'm going to use my liquid glue and put a couple little dots of liquid glue on my vellum. Call it good. All right. So how was everyone's week? Did you guys have a good week? Oh my golly gracious. My fifth graders today. Oh, it's the day before, you know, Halloween weekend. And they were crazy. Super excited. We had some carnival games at school and... That was fun for them. And then we did some fun seasonal learning type stuff. We played multiplication bingo. But they were so excited. It was hard to focus. So that's why we didn't do a lot of new material today. Now, yes, I know that you can see the glue dots and that's okay. All right. We're going to hide most of it with our... Um, with our stuff here, with our stuff. You like that technical term? Our stuff. I'm gonna kind of spread it around. Hopefully that'll help. Normally I'm able to cover it up better. I guess I shouldn't have used so much glue. All right. And I do I want to pop this up too? I guess I could. We'll put two dimensionals on that little panel. If I don't like the way those vellum trees look, if my, my glue still shows, then I can always sponge it with some ink too, and that'll hide it. Little technique if you need it. Kind of hard to stay focused when you're talking and doing stuff. I know you guys understand. I've told you my brain cells go dead. They die when I go live. Yep. Okay. That's done. And then our cute little... Yeah, you could use a sponge dauber. Absolutely. Just to hide up that glue. Isn't that pretty? That is so pretty. So pretty, 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 pretty. All right, if you don't have a pair of tweezers, you need some. I love tweezers, they, they help me. I like my U-Pick tool and I like my tweezers. Now liquid glue will dry clear. So I got a little bit right there in my O, oh, and it's it will dry clear. I'm not going to panic. Okay. All right. And I think that's done other than we've got a couple embellishments to put on. So let's open these cute little embellishments. And I'm going to use my U-Pick tool. Looks like one is hopping around already. 
We'll put one there. They've used three. Three is a good number. I use three. Sometimes I use five. I really like these embellishments. They're really fabulous. Okay, there's our first card. First card. So I think I need to, ouch, I just banged my heel. Um, let me grab a dauber to kind of hide that glue because I was distracted. Where's a dauber? Where's a dauber when you need one? Mm. I see my blending brushes. I see a dauber that has red ink on it. Okay, here we go. I'll just ink that up and kind of try and hide the glue. And then you won't, you won't even know. So don't go glue crazy like I did. I might have to put some more embellishments on there. Who knows? I'm not going to panic. There's more, there's more serious things to panic about. It's okay. It's okay. I'll play around and fix it some more because I don't want to waste that card. Okay, so that's one of the first um, designs. It was this one. So now I'm going to put this one together, okay? And then you're going to see my alternatives. I've got, I think, five, like I said. Okay, so we need one of these guys. We need a circle. We need a red banner. And we need that guy. Looks like that's it. And then we have some um, baker's twine to use. Mm. Uh, the embellishments you wish would go in the next catalog. I was thinking the same thing, Linda. They're pretty awesome. Pretty awesome, if I do say so myself. All right, bone folder. If you don't have a bone folder, you need one. They're awesome. Get those nice, cool, crisp folds. Okay, this one's a really easy design. Let's stamp our sentiment they used Merry Christmas there's also peaceful Christmas wishes holiday cheer wishing you and your family all the best to you and yours from our home to yours sending you peace and joy all year long these are really nice stamps there's some great sentiments on here like I said awesome way to build up your stamp collection All right, use your grid paper to help you to make sure it's straight. Oops. And get your block on. And then we're gonna use some shaded spruce ink. I was on a hunt tonight. I was trying to find my evening evergreen ink pad and it's, it is hiding somewhere. God only knows where it is. I have no clue. And I'm quite annoyed by that. Yes, I don't know where it went. All right, there's my sentiment. Hi, Deanna. Welcome, welcome. I really, 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 really appreciate it when you guys interact with me. Thank you for letting me know that you're here. Thank you for letting me... Um, converse with you. I look forward to this time with you guys. I look forward to it. I look, I think about uh, what I'm going to do and 
I always enjoy seeing you guys. So thank you for spending your Friday nights with me. And if you're watching the, the replay, thank you for doing that also. I appreciate you. Okay, this is a very simple card. They've got this one kind of, let me look at the picture. Not centered like that. They've kind of got it to the side. I think I need to move my red over a little bit. Let's do that. Let's do that. And use the checkered, um, the checkered buffalo check kind of to help you with keeping your sentiment straight. All right, let's grab some more of these guys. Mm -hmm. That looks good. And then we're going to put this down. And it looks like it's flat on the card. Super duper easy, you guys. Look at that. Where is the end? There it is. I'm looking at that, but they just did one single bow. You know I don't like I, I don't like wimpy beakers twine bows, so I'm gonna have to do a double bow, you guys. Just gonna have to. Alright, so I just use my fingers, my inky fingers, and I wrap it around a couple times. And I'm going to trim. So then I hold those loops. Why is that one loop bigger? Okay. Pinch it in the middle. And then I just cut a little, another piece. And we'll lay that down. this underneath because I don't have a buddy here to help me okay it looks like a disaster but it'll work there we go I'm just being very careful there ta-da see I knew what I was doing. All right. Trim my tails because they don't need to be that long. I will say uh, it doesn't look like you have a ton of baker's twine. So if you wanted it to last, you've got five cards. So you're not going to get five double bows with that. So you might have to go with the wimpy bows if you want, or you can buy some more Baker's twine or use some ribbon. Okay. Hello, Jean. Oh, so Deanna, your husband, what happened? I hope your hubby's okay. I'm just now seeing that you're at the hospital. Yikes. I will be praying for your husband and for you. Goodness gracious. Okay, I'm going to put a little glue dot from the kit on my baker's twine and take off the back. And then we'll put that right there on the corner. And then they've got a couple embellishments on there. Congestive heart failure is not doing very well. Oh my goodness. I am. I will be praying. I will be praying. And that you have peace of mind too, friend. That you will feel comfort during this time. And have peace. Okay. 
All right, there's our card number two based off of the kit. All right, so there's the two designs from the kit. Okay. Deanna, if it's okay with you, I'll, I will add your husband to our church prayer list. Just let me know what his name is, and I can add him to our church prayer list tonight. I'll send a little text out to our, um, our lady who's in charge of the prayer list at church. Okay. So let me know if that's okay with you, and I will do that. Okay, next card that we're going to do. Thank you, Jean. I appreciate that. Um, so this is one of the card bases from the kit. All right. Or you could use Shaded Spruce cardstock. And then what I ended up doing was I cut a mat of white. All right. We will pray for Ken. We will add him to the church prayer list. Just keep me posted. Okay. You can personal message me anytime. And then um, I'm adding a Buffalo check panel. And then we're going to add some more of those beautiful vellum trees. I won't go glue crazy this time. And then I thought we would add a little red banner kind of in the middle and then use a pretty Noel on top. Isn't that That's very simple and yet very attractive, isn't it? So let's put that together. Very easy. The only extra thing I added was the white. A little bit of white cardstock. I do too. I really, lo I love Buffalo check. I always have. And I really like uh, shaded spruce. I think it's a cheerful color. It's a clean, crisp color. All right, so it looks like you've got a couple other people that are going to be praying for you, Deanna, you and Ken. That is awesome. Okay, now let's see how we can get the uh, trees on here without showing my adhesive. If I just do a line right in the middle, maybe. Maybe, maybe. I'm going to pull my silicone mat here. And I like this because when I when I do adhesive on the paper, then stuff sticks. But if I use this, then it just rubs off and I don't have a mess when I'm assembling cards. All right. Let's see something. That's about the same width. So we're going to just do a strip down the middle. Be careful, go slow, because you don't want to tear. There's a little piece that's sticking there. You don't want to tear those little branches. There we go. I'm so glad you shared with us what was going on, Deanna. I don't want you to feel like you are alone. Okay, let's put some adhesive on this red banner. And we'll hide up, hide up. We will hide that adhesive so now it doesn't show. And then we'll add our little Noel on top. Okay. Can't even believe it's the last weekend of October. Cannot believe it. Okay. 
Okay, and then I think we need some of those fabulous embellishments. And let's put one here. And we'll put maybe one here. And one here. Simple, but very cute, don't you think? And minimal added supplies. Just an extra panel of white to really make that buffalo check pop. I'm going to hold that up. I know, I do like the white border. Okay. Oops, can you guys see it okay? All right. Next card. Next, next, next. Okay, this one we're using a white card base. I was kind of in a white, crisp, clean mood tonight. And then I took that uh, evergreen embossing folder. Now, have you guys ever noticed, I don't know if you've ever noticed this, that there's a black line right here. Have you ever noticed that? Let me make sure you guys can see it in the camera. Okay, see the black line? So when you put your paper in here, let me... Ow, my hip just popped. <laughs> okay, so when you put your paper in here, um, you can use that black line. Come on, get out of that. You can use that black line to help you line your paper up so that it's straight. Isn't that... I was like, oh, what? And I was like putting my paper in here. And I thought, oh, I could use this to help me. Because sometimes, you know, sometimes our paper is kind of skewed when we put it in or whatnot. And then the design is off once we run it through. Use that little black line to help you, kind of like our grid paper, to make your paper straight. So a little tip. Now the other thing is, it's not going to cover all the paper. That's okay, because the design that I'm going to show you, this part that is not embossed is going to get uh, covered up. So, you know, it's a smaller embossing folder. So it's great for panels. If you're going to want a full sheet of that texture, then you're going to have to be really careful and run it around a couple times. And I've just noticed that when I do that, it doesn't come out as well. So when I'm using these thinner um, embossing folders, I come up with card designs that allow me to use panels and I don't need the whole sheet. So that's another little tip for you of how to use those embossing folders that are a little bit off in you know, our normal size that we're used to. So the part that is not textured, I'm going to put towards my fold, okay? because we're going to cover that up. So then what I did is I took one of these card bases and I cut it. I know, I cut it to make DSP out of it. So instead of one card, you could get two card bases out of, I'm sorry, two mats using one card base. So that's gonna extend your kit. All right. So what I did was I, and I've already trimmed it a little bit. I cut this piece. Okay. So I'm going to use that. Get more out of your kit that way if you want, but you don't have to do, you don't have to do alternatives. I like the challenge. So sometimes I want to just not think and just do the, the design as it is. And then sometimes I like the challenge. What can I come up with? All right, we're going to adhere this to our textured piece, our mat. Yep, I do too. It helps it helps stretch the life of your kit. You can actually make 
probably more than 10 cards with minimal supplies. You know, if you've got cardstock at home in your craft room, then that helps. Okay, so then we're going to adhere this. I am going to use these pieces from the kit, making sure that my buffalo check isn't off. Then we're going to stamp on this guy, put it a little bit, um, what's the word I'm thinking of? Not centered. <laughs> And then I don't want to really do ribbon because of this. I kind of feel like it doesn't work with ribbon. I don't know. I think a bow on there would look funny with this pendant. So we're not going to use ribbon. Um, askew. That's the word. Thank you, Deanna. You read my mind. All right. So let's look at what sentiment we can put on here. Um... And I just can hold it over on top of my piece to see, does it fit? Does it fit? Let's do peaceful Christmas. Who does not want a peaceful Christmas? I know I do. I want to be able to enjoy my Christmas for what it really is all about. I don't want to get hung up in all the craziness that the world would have us do. I want to keep my focus where it needs to be. All right, this one time, Stacy, I will agree with you. No bow. I will agree this one time. <laughs> I like bows. For those of you that don't know, I like bows. I have a ribbon problem. You don't want to know how much ribbon I have. That and you don't want to know how much DSP I have. Okay, let's move that over. I'm wondering, should we use one of these um, wood grain guys too? Let's see. Ooh. Come on, work with me here. Okay, I will fix the buffalo check. Don't worry. I know it's kind of crazy. Hmm. You could add the gray to it. Totally up to you. I don't know. I don't know that I like it. <laughs> mm. And I think I'm going to, do I want to pop this piece up with dimensionals or have it flat? I guess we'll just do it flat. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let me use my stamp and seal plus. <laughs> I know. I actually agreed no bow this time. What? <laughs> I have witnesses. So if you haven't already and you're enjoying my kooky sense of humor and you like my ideas, make sure that you Follow me so that you will get notifications whenever I go live. You don't want to miss out. Like I said, I try and do two free paper crafting classes a week. Sometimes life gets in the way. I am a mom and a teacher and a wife and, and life gets busy sometimes. But I try to be, I try to be um, consistent and here with you guys. And you can find these videos on my Facebook page. They don't go away. I also repost them on my YouTube channel. So that's another place you can find them. All right. And I did it again. I need to move that over more if I'm going to make it askew. Sounds like a French word. Is it? Is it French? It sounds French. All right. There we go. That looks 
still centered. Move it over more. There. I think that's got more on the other side. I think, I think. Sharon says she thinks a bow would look pretty. I think she's just trying to stir the pot. <laughs> she knows the debates that we have over bows. Because <laughs> she's, ch maybe I'll change my mind. You never know. <laughs> Oh, I love to laugh with you ladies. Okay. Just make sure you keep it on the card off the card and then you could put a couple more embellishments I'm gonna run out of those fabulous embellishments yes I do think they need to put these in the catalog they're like they're full of glitter they're really pretty so if you don't subscribe to paper pumpkin I think you really need to but I'm biased I know. Mm. There. It's only twenty two dollars. You could put some red rhinestones on there. You could have done that too. Yeah. All right. So that's my next card. All right. Okay. Next one. All righty. All right. This one is going to go this way. Change the orientation. We've got some shaded spruce. We've got a layer of white. Then I pulled some of that DSP from the Peaceful Prints pack. Then I ran this through and I used the snowflakes. Now remember, you're not going to cover all of the paper and that's okay. Okay, so I've got my snowflakes. We're going to put our little vellum trees here. Um, but I was thinking of um, coloring them with some ink. We'll have to see if I'm going to do that or not because you can't really they don't show up that well these were left over from another paper pumpkin and I'm just gonna use it and stamp my sentiment on there okay so we're gonna use peaceful Christmas wishes on this one you make sure that's really well inked and I'm also going to uh, this one is getting um, is this the one that's getting ribbon I think so I'm gonna pull some of this ribbon on here if everything will cooperate. Okay. All right. So if I do the silver, I think I'm gonna do it around these two pieces. So let's glue these two down and then we'll glue the other two down. Alrighty, so you can subscribe to the um, Paper Pumpkins. They get sent monthly. If for some reason you don't want to have that week's kit, you can suspend it, which means that you skip a month. So you don't have to pay for a kit every month. And sometimes people just decide, um, that they are backlogged or whatever and they want to take a break and so they cancel their subscription you can always sign up any again anytime you want so 
there really is no risks with the subscription kit. Okay, now let's put the ribbon on and then I'm going to play around with some ink on those um, trays. I love this ribbon. This is in the annual catalog. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. I will be with you in just a minute, Audrey. She says, Mom, it's time for me to go. And Daddy's not home yet. Okay. There's our bow. Isn't that pretty? We'll cut the tails. All right. I'm going to put that on here. All right, now I'm gonna set that aside and I'm going to um, put some color on these. Let's see, let us see. I need my shaded spruce pen. That's dark spruce, light spruce, ouch. And let's see what this looks like. I think I'll just use my little, um, let's get a piece of scrap paper. Okay, here's some scrap paper. I'm going to use the brush tip. This is the light. I don't know what the light's going to look like. Oh, it's not bad. Nice thing about the blends is they dry fast because it's alcohol based. Okay. I have glue on my finger. Oh, you're making gift tags. Nice, Sharon. Nice. I know. I did a little Christmas shopping today for the kids. Shh, don't tell them. Still haven't gotten into my gift closet yet to see what I bought for my nieces. I have to go do that this weekend. Okay. Pretty, pretty. Look at that. Isn't that nice? I like it. Okay. Turn that over and I'm going to put one strip of adhesive just like I did before and the ribbon will hide it. Okay. And let's put our sentiment on here. Is dad home? Okay, go tell dad he needs to take you to church. Nicely. <laughs> All right, I think I need to trim this because I don't need it as, as long as it is. <laughs> go say it nicely, Audrey. 
He's probably thinking, I just got home. Lord have mercy. Yeah, this is like a sticker. Okay. High enough so that we can see the sentiment. Here we go. Did I just put that on crooked? Kind of, sort of. Oh, Lord. Mm. It might be stuck. these bifocals. Right. I keep all my little extra pieces from my card, uh, my um, paper pumpkin kits, because I use them for other things. Don't throw them away. Okay, then some more of those fabulous embellishments. I think I'll just put one on here like that because we've got the sparkle from the bow. I think that one's my favorite so far. Mm. Isn't that pretty? Okay, next card. This one's definitely thinking outside the box. What I did was I took one of our beautiful envelopes and I cut it in half. And we're gonna use that. Okay, and this I've got a little bit of red this time with some DSP. So see, you can definitely use these stamps. Um, using other materials you've got when you use your stuff up. I'm using cardstock and DSP. Yeah, I'm using some of the pieces and I'm doing some alternatives, but you can come up with some really pretty card designs using the stamps and paper, some ribbon and embellishments. Use some die cuts that you have and call it good. They make great stamps. In these kits and one stamp set can be I think the lowest stamp set that we have in the catalog is like $17 and I mean you get a kit for 22 okay so I cut my envelope and what I would suggest is you can just pull it apart so it's not bulky okay and we'll just trim some of these pieces off because I'm just going to use this panel. All right. So let's pull this in and we'll trim. I'm just going to cut it right on those score lines. And this one. I think I need to fix that because paper was really thin there. Because my I know my blade is new. But the envelopes are thin. So go gently when you um, slice them. those pieces away. You might be able to use them, but I'm not, not going to. And 
about that Noel that we'll put on there. And then I'm thinking we're going to tie a bow. Tie a bow! You can put on some red ribbon. I gotta count how many Christmas cards I've made. Let's see. Do I have enough? For my needs? Come on here. Work with me. This is our sheer ribbon sheer red ribbon and I'm gonna move it but let's get it to look semi-decent okay I think I need to make that loop a little smaller and move it. Okay. I guess we could pop that. I don't want saggy sides. I don't like it when they cave in. The uh, sheer ribbon is very easy to work with. It's like our in color um, organdy ribbon. Very easy to make bows with. Okay. Let's put our Noel on here. All right, and then this time, how about we pull some red rhinestones on here? we go. What do you guys think? Do you like that one? I think it came out pretty good. Okay, similar concept, but instead of the red, we're going to do just um, shaded spruce. Okay. And I might not cut that envelope a little more because it was thin and it kind of frayed. So we'll just um, adhere this so that it lays flat. Okay. All right, almost done. Almost done. Here we go. Let me move that over a little bit.
Oh, someone's calling the house. I'm busy. I just got glue there. Where's my little eraser guy? Hmm. All right, am I going to do a bow on this one, too? I'm thinking I might. I could do glittery white, or we could go with the silver. I think I'm going to do silver. And then, I'm going to trim that a little more because that loop was a little bit bigger than the other one. Here we go. Let's put that on here and then we'll do a little sentiment. Don't do it upside down. That would be bad. Okay. And then let me ink up. All right. And then we'll put that right here. And I don't know that you need embellishments, but you could. You could add some in there if you wanted. All right. Okay, what else do I have? Goodness gracious, I didn't know I had so many alternatives planned here. Okay, this one is fun. It's going to be black and white. Okay, and I'm pulling in... Um, I'm pulling in the checkered black and white ribbon on this one. Okay, so what we're going to do, and I'm not going to use shaded spruce this time. I'm going to use black ink. And there are um, these trees. Okay, and we're going to use that with black. And I took this panel and I've embossed it with the snowflakes, but I've got this part on the bottom that is not. And so we're going to stamp our trees in black down there. All right, so let's do that. Okay. All right. And we'll do it again. It's a really nice tree stamp. Doesn't have to be used for Christmas either. That would be great for masculine birthday cards, Father's Day cards. Okay. 
Okay, so there are my trees. Then I'm going to, I used one of my dyes. I can't remember what this, I think this is from the Tasteful Labels. Can't remember. And then I took my little hole punch and I punched holes on both sides, okay? So we're gonna stamp our sentiment in black also. I love this checkered ribbon. I'm gonna have to stock up on it. Love, love, love it. Such a nice neutral that you can use. Let me make sure I can get this straight. Okay, and then what we're going to do, carefully, 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 is we're going to see if I can lace it through here in these holes. Yep. And we'll do it the other side. We have so many different dyes that you can play around with. Okay, so I'm gonna pull that. We're gonna place that on here and wrap it around. And then we're gonna tie a bow. Isn't that cute? Something different. But let's get this. Something different. Just be careful that you don't rip the holes on your die. Okay. And actually, you know what I'm going to do while I'm thinking of this? I'm going to put a little adhesive on here and that'll help hold it down too. Let's do that. And I want it. Oops, I want it more on the side. So let me pull so I've got enough ribbon. We're gonna do it on the side more. So we'll do that. There we go. Now I can do my bow and not feel like my die is flopping around. So this is a card that you would make when all your stuff is used up because I don't think I'm using anything from the kit except the stamps and cardstock. That needs to be a little tighter. It's not hard. I'm just fumbling because I, I need a buddy. <laughs> I think I'll do a knot and then tie it. There we go. All right. So this has got a cute farmhouse look to it. Is that all okay I think my ribbon got a little um, twisted I'm not liking it so I got to do it one more time sorry ladies okay. third third times a charm right okay I can hear the hubby coming to the door so hopefully he doesn't start talking really loud <laughs> all right that's better He's on the cell phone. I can hear him. Oh, okay. Let's get that put on to here. I've got a mat of black. And then we will adhere it all. Hey, honey, I'm still doing my class. <laughs> so turn the volume down. He doesn't know how loud he is sometimes. <laughs> All right. 
Okay, then we're going to put this on our card base. Let's make sure I've got it opened up the right way. Mm. Come on, work with me. There we go. Sometimes family life kind of gets in the way when you're trying to do a live. Oh, well. Okay. Isn't that black and white just really, really, really pretty? I like that. I like it a lot. Don't like the bow, but. And then, you know what, we could put, let's do a red, let's do red on there. Or I could put red on the snowflakes, that would be fun. Okay, there's four. We have to do an odd number. So I guess I'm going to do one on my, my little die here. There we go. What do you guys think? Isn't that cute? Black and white. Hi, Peggy. Okay. I've gone really long today, you guys. I have one more card. Are you guys up for one more card? Have I tuckered you out? Hmm. Okay. Now this one, I'm a little bit upset because I couldn't find my evening evergreen ink pad. So I am going to have to change the color of my card base because I couldn't find it. I, I don't know where it is. I'm going to blame the cat because I really don't know where it went. I'm a little bit perplexed. So, um, we could do a black mat on here. Maybe we'll do that. We'll see. We shall see. I'm going to cut a different mat because at this point, only God knows where my ink pad is. I cannot find it. So, guess what I get to do tomorrow? I know, I used it on my last class. I don't know. It's so weird. It should be right here on my table. And it's not. I don't know if I'm going to like the black. We'll see. I'll cut one in shaded spruce and we'll, we'll see which one we like better. Okay. I know. It's bothering the heck out of me. When I lose something, I kind of go a little, um, I don't know, I wouldn't say crazy, but it really annoys me when I can't find something. You guys get that way? The cat is innocent. Um, well, I know he really didn't steal the ink pad, but I wouldn't say the cat is innocent. <laughs> he has been guilty of other things. <laughs> Okay, we're going to go back to Shaded Spruce, and I'm going to go back to my trees, and I'm going to create a forest this time. Okay, so here we go. Ink it up, and we're going to stamp some dark trees there. Oops, and then I'm not going to re-ink, and we're going to do some more okay then I'm gonna re-ink and do some there oh what is that why is that doing that and then we'll do we're gonna have to fix that let's go right there And 
and there. Don't you like that spot? Let's do it over. We'll try it again. I think my arm's getting tired. <laughs> I st I've been stamping it out. <laughs> All right. Don't rank. Mm. Okay. I'm going to stand this time. And then fill in that space. There we go. Although we need a couple more trees over here. All right, there's my forest. Okay. And then let's do some red this time. Let's pull some real red and we'll stamp. A peaceful, I love this peaceful Christmas. I think that's my favorite stamp in the set. And I'm just going to stamp it directly on this mat. And then there is um, a little stamp that is snowflakes. Snowflakes? Yeah, snowflakes. I was checking to say, is it snowflakes or is it stars? But it's snowflakes. And let's grab some Sahara sand and we'll do some little snowflakes. Okay, I don't want to go crazy on my snowflakes. on here and we need some ribbon more ribbon more ribbon we'll do a red ribbon because I don't think I have any shaded spruce oh my goodness I'm gonna have to grab my other um, red spool Where'd it go? Where'd it go? there it is because what I've got left isn't gonna be enough I'll move it. Oh my goodness, why is it upside down? All right. All right. Let's put this on here. So again, here is another card you can make. And I think I'm out of this stuff. It's almost out. Goodness. 
goodness gracious, I ran out of ribbon tonight? I ran out of adhesive. So this is another card you can make when your kit is all used up, just using your stamps and some cardstock. And then, instead of the red rhinestones, I could put some just clear rhinestones on here. Or if you wanted to bring in more red, you could. Totally up to you. I'm not going to go crazy with them. I'm just going to do three. Okay. There's that one. What do you guys think? I hope you like it. I hope you like it. All right. Let me show you what we came up with here. Lots of cards. Lots of cards tonight. I gotta move stuff out of the way. Ouch. Ouch. Move this over here. And then our two that came with the kit. Okay. I oh, can't show them going to just cover everything up so i hope you had fun tonight i went oh i went way over time so we made one two three four five six seven eight nine cards goodness gracious i'm so glad deanna i'm so glad that we were able to um just be with you in the hospital um okay guys i am going to play this weekend. I've got to get ready for my uh, next face-to-face -face class and I will post pictures of all of these cards that I made tonight. I will put them on my business page. So if you want to uh, copy and um, I just had a brain malfunction, case them copy and share everything. I think that's what it is. I can't remember. If you want to copy it, I would love that. I always think that that is the best compliment when you like what I make and you want to make it yourself. Love, love, love that. If you do not already subscribe to Paper Pumpkin uh, and want to, please reach out to me. The next kit has snowmen. Now it's not a card kit, but it's treat boxes, but I am going to make cards. I'm going to come up with a way to make cards with um, some of the snowmen. So that's my challenge. And I think it's going to be fun. So if you want to get a, a kit, you're going to want to do that before the 10th of November. I believe it makes 10 treat box holders. Okay. And if you just need supplies or you want to do Christmas shopping, uh, kits make great Christmas gifts. So uh, this is my website, jennifersincere.stampinup.net. This is my hostess code. I will probably close this workshop um, Sunday, last day of October. Okay. So I will close this workshop on Sunday, the 31st on Halloween. Okay. And then there will be a new host code on Monday. Thank you guys for joining me tonight. I had fun with you. I hope you have a fabulous weekend. Um, and I will see you on Tuesday. I love you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.